I went to McDonald's. This is a true story. I go to McDonald's. I'm at the drive-thru, right? I want a Big Mac meal. I haven't had a Big Mac in the longest time. I'm so excited for this fucking Big Mac. Oh my God, I can't wait to get this Big Mac. I get the Big Mac. I'm so excited. I pull over in a McDonald's parking lot. I start fucking the Big Mac up. <laughs> smashing it all over my face. Everything. I'm happy as hell. I turned to my left, it's a woman outside the window taping me. She said, got your ass. <laughs> I got nervous. What the fuck is you doing, lady? She said, mm-hmm, but I got your ass. <laughs> what the fuck you mean, got my ass? What am I doing? I'm so nervous, I dropped the burger. I just dropped the fucking burger. I grabbed my phone, I went to Twitter, I issued an apology via social media. I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> the reason why I apologize is because two days earlier, I announced that I was going plant-based full time. I just said it. <laughs> this video was detrimental to everything that I stood for at the moment. <laughs> I had to issue an apology to the plant-based community. <laughs> Became an ally. Made a donation, was a part of protest. I had to do what I could. Stood by the side of cows, took pictures, it was a lot. Shit's getting aggressive. Shit's getting more aggressive. Fast food is getting more aggressive. Fast food used to be just a decision you make. Now they getting aggressive, and we gotta know when to draw the line. Taco Bell done started trying to trap niggas. all around the country warning my people to beware. Taco Bell is trying to trap niggas. Yes, they made a taco out of chicken meat. Yeah, trying to trap niggas in there. We got to draw the line. No, Taco Bell. No. We don't stop them now. They'll have chitlin chimichangas and hog mall nachos. No. We don't want no cornbread churro. Make them regular. My wife says the same thing all the time. Once again, Kevin, you're getting older. Getting angry, irritable. I'm here to tell you I am getting older. 41 now, God. No, right? Where does time go? I was just 22 years old, man. You do not realize how fast time flies. When you look back at all those comedy specials on the wall, that's a timeline of my fucking life. That's damn near 16 years of comedy, man. 16 fucking years of comedy. Like, it's insane. 41. What happened? Shit changes at the age 40. You hear about it, but you don't believe it. Things do change. I'm here to tell you, shit does change. <laughs> Biggest change for me after the age 40, my balls dropped. I got some length. <laughs> got some fucking length on my balls. I didn't ask for it. Just happened. I didn't even know. I was in the kitchen. Bent over to pick something up. My wife was like, why you got dice in your back pocket? I ain't got no fucking dice in my back pocket. <laughs> Touch my back pocket. Oh, it's my balls. God damn, I got it. It's my fucking balls. How my balls get in my back pocket? What the fuck just happened to me? How long was I asleep? <laughs> you stretched me out while I was asleep. <laughs> the biggest thing for me is how content I am at this age, man. I am okay. I'm very serious, man. I am okay. I don't need to do much. I love being in the fucking house. I actually built the house. I thought me and my wife built the house because that's where we wanted to stay. We wanted to stay in this fucking house. Let's build our dream house to stay in it, not to leave it. Women got a problem with doing this thing called sitting the fuck down. It's, it's very difficult for women to sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. It's a task for women. A woman's favorite line, let's go do some stuff. <laughs> what stuff? Mm-mm, something. The fuck are you saying? <laughs> something. <laughs> a bunch of men, that's, a bunch of men rejoicing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something, I don't know, something. You know, my wife's biggest problem is chasing her past. 
trying to redo what she did when she was younger. Ladies, I'm here to give you a personal message. It's okay to get old. There's nothing wrong with getting old. There's nothing wrong with it. Stop fighting old age. The beauty of getting older is that you get to look back and realize all the dope shit that you overcame and that you did when you were younger. That's dope. Stop trying to run from that. Stop trying to redo that. It's over. It's fucking over. She told me the other day, she was like, babe, we should go out tonight. We should get fucked up. <laughs> I said, absolutely not. No. Why would I do that? No. It hurts. It fucking hurts now. Take a shot and get stuck in my chest for three to five fucking minutes. My left side shut down. I get the shaking and shit. I got a fart or shit. I don't know. It's one of them. Something's happening. Making dumb ass faces. I described this to my wife in great detail. You know what her answer was? You don't never want to have fun with me. <laughs> Bitch, I just described a stroke to you. That's a stroke. That's a legal stroke. I'm shutting down. You don't want to have fun with me. You don't never want to do stuff. It's fucked up. My last young day was last Christmas. Played basketball in somebody's backyard, got fouled, ran into a wall, damn near killed myself. And I thought I had saved myself because I saved my face with my arm. I saved my face with my arm. But when my arm hit the ground, that bitch sounded like Transformers. It said, <laughs> and my brain said, get the fuck up off the ground, nigga. My arm said, if you get us up off the ground, you're going to have to put us in your pocket, nigga, because we are done. I got right up off the ground and went right to the hospital. Now, white people, I know that don't sound amazing. If you get hurt, you're supposed to go to the hospital. But as a nigga, if you get up off the ground and go directly to the hospital, that means you thought you was finna die that day. I was in the hospital looking at the doctor in the eye. I was holding my arm like a baby. I said, I don't know what you finna do. But every time I blink, it feels like somebody is tearing my arm out the socket. He said, don't worry, I'm gonna put you on some medication. I said, wait a minute, with all due respect, I've been smoking the best weed in the country and medication is not. You do your job, let me do my job. He wrote me out two prescriptions. One for Tramadol and one for Percocet. I know, know if y'all done had them separately, but if you take them bitches together, it'll make you a superhero in this bitch. You walking around looking for small crimes, saying shit no nigga has ever said before. Shoot me right in the chest. Shoot me right in the chest. I ain't even gonna feel it. I can't feel shit. But you have to be careful. Your doctors give you all that strong-ass motherfucking medication. They don't tell you what the fuck it's gonna do when they all get together. You don't believe that, ask Tiger Woods. Tiger was in the police department looking like a baby giraffe and shit. This is... One, two, three, four, five, six. Strong ass medication. You know, honestly, what makes me laugh? Hearing other people talk about sex. That's enough for me. Hearing other people talk about sex is the funniest shit in the world. Funniest people to listen to talk about sex are my nephews. My nephews are 21, 22 years old. It's the funniest shit that you will ever hear, man. It's the funniest shit you'll ever hear, but they don't, they don't offer the information. You gotta bait it out of them. You gotta set a trap, see if they fall for it. I set the trap. They fall in it every time. I just come in the room hot. Y'all ain't fucking yet. <laughs> they take the bait every time. Who ain't fucking? <laughs> every time. Who ain't fucking? I know you ain't saying me. I know you ain't saying I ain't fucking. I'm fucking. I know you ain't saying me. Go ahead, huh? You ain't fucking, bitch. I know your young ass ain't fucking. I'm fucking, huh? What you doing? Tell me what you doing there. No, I ain't telling you. Because if I tell you, you're going to try to put it in one of your little comedy shows. I ain't fucking talking about you. Shut up. The hell I'm going to put you in my comedy show for? I got jokes. I don't need you. What you doing? Give me the nastiest thing that you've done. No judging? No judging. 
fuck I'm gonna judge you for? All right. Nastiest thing I've done. I went to the movies with this girl. We go to the movies. She tell me get a large bucket of popcorn. I get the bucket of popcorn, I sit down, she cut a hole in the bottom, told me put my dick through the hole, she gave me a butter beat off. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> I caught myself, I had to act like I knew what it was. <laughs> ah! A butter beat off! I know that's right. A butter beat off. You know you're older because you asked the wrong questions. Fuck y'all get a large for it. Why you waste all that popcorn? You just got the small. It's a 12, 14 dollar difference, ain't it? Why you get that? That butter don't get in your hole? That sounds like an infection waiting to happen. That's how you catch the vid. You gonna get the vid. You get the vid 19 doing that shit, putting the butter in your hole. You don't want the butter in your hole. I ran home, told my wife. You ain't gonna believe this shit. I was talking to Terrence. Terrence told me these kids out here giving each other butter beat-offs. She said, they still doing that? I said, what the fuck is happening here? Who are you? I don't even want to know no more. You just stop right there. My kids better not be doing it. I know that much. If I find out my kids doing it, I have a goddamn fit. You can't just come out and ask your kids, though. You got to, once again, got to set the trap, see if they step in it. We had dinner, eating a good dinner at the house. Nice dinner. I throw the question out to my wife. Babe, we should go to the movies. Maybe you can give me a butter beat off. I look right at my fucking daughter. Right at my daughter. Staring at her ass. She didn't budge. She was cool as a fan. Eating the food and shit. I've never been more proud as a father. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. She don't even know what the fuck it is. Thank you, God. Turn this way. My son was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> He said, yeah, <laughs> you better get the large, Dad. You don't want that butter in a hole, you'll catch the vid. Again, you don't want it twice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't want back-to-back -back cases of the vid, Dad. But I didn't bring up Viagra to talk to the men. I brought up Viagra. I've been talking about it for two years. It's finally happening this year. 2018, they're going to be selling it. It's going to change everything. They are finally finna sell female Viagra. Did you hear that? That wasn't women. That was old vaginas waking up for the first time tonight. That, what did that nigga say? She ain't gave that pussy away since the prohibition. That's fresh. She got cobwebs on it and everything is fresh. Saran wrap. That's right, ladies. Female Viagra is coming. It's finna change everything. Pussy game is already vicious. Wait till this old kitty cat get back on the market. They say the, they say the female Viagra is stronger than the men's. Yeah, they say even if you 62, it'll bring you back to when you was at your hottest. Look at the cougars. Wow. That's gonna change the game. Right now, these young girls is running things. But you wait till that old classic get out. <laughs> Men know it ain't but two types of pussy. The old classic pussy and the new classic. That old classic is a classic for a reason. It's got its own. Young girl, you can just get into the bed and start fucking. Not that old classic. You got to warm up that engine first. You got to prime that engine, you. Had to grab that bitch by the nipples and she had, had to keep checking her fluids. She ain't ready yet. She is not ready. You gonna know when she ready too, cause she gonna crank up. Like this bitch got a 450 under there. This is a real classic right here. That's that old classic. Young girl wanna come all night long. Not that old classic. Really? She just want to come one time. She want to come hard as hell. 
She wanted to shake the room. The boo! She ain't got time to be fucking all night long. She got shit in the crock pot she got to look after. She... I stir these at three and at seven like clockwork. I never miss it. That's, That's that old classic. She don't want to come but one time. But it ain't gonna be easy. Oh no. You have to be ready to do 49 to 52 minutes of hard work. You gonna have to use hard dick and creativity. Cause she can't move this hip and this knee. You might have to fuck that bitch in a rocking chair. Can you feel that me, Ma? That's that old classic. Just saying, do more fucking. Some of you women right now are lucky. You are sitting right now with a man with great dick. Don't, don't make no noise. Y'all know how these Jacksonville hoes is. Soon as y'all made some noise, that bitch look like vultures. Eh?